Pareto analysis are very powerful technique to analyze large volumes of data very quickly and properly. It's also referred to as the 80-20 rule. Unfortunately, SAP Lumira doesn't have a uh, Pareto analysis chart or map uh, predefined in it, so we have to create it and with a little creativity, I think we can do it ourselves. On the screen you see a data set that is basically built around actuals. You see them over here, budgets and forecasts. And I have time and very interesting, uh, I have orders. Over here you see my order dim dimension. Imagine that uh, my aim is to analyze um, how many orders cover 80% of the uh, total actual revenue number and how many orders cover 20% of the total actual revenue order. Well, the way you go is as follows. Step number one is that you uh, copy your actual, um, so my core element, uh, you copy your actual uh, measure and um, give it another name. So I have to use it over here, uh, revenue 2013 Poito total. That's just the name that I created. <coughs> The next step is that you create a cross tab where you use your uh, your new created metric and uh, you take a dimension for example a year and this is the amount that I'm looking for is the total actual revenue amount for in this case year 2013. What you can do is um, now uh, export this data set as an Excel export the records as an Excel or create a new data set. It's either one of them. In the next step, I have um, reloaded this uh, data set that I just exported. So this data that you see on the screen right now, I reloaded it over here. I gave it a name, Pareto Total, and I brought it back into my analysis. And what I've done in a join mechanism, I joined the original data set over here, finance, with the new one as follows. I used this join and joined it over here. You see a 34% match. That's the reason because in the original data set there's also two other years that I do not use, so they fall out of the out of the join. So that gives me a new data set with actual per order line and one single number for the revenue Puito. You see it over here. Yeah. Uh, so that's only one line. Um, the next step is that I uh, start creating an analysis and let me do it for you. I duplicate it and I make a little, uh, let's take a line and area graph and uh, so what you do is as follows. You first create a new metric where you uh, basically say, and this is important, I create the actual, in, in my case later on per order line, and I divide that by revenue per retail total, so the total amount of, uh, of, uh, of actuals, and I make this definition and I give it this name. So this is a... Um, a percentage. Uh, I also uh, use the display format as a percentage, um, as you can see over here. Yeah. So what I now do is um, I um, I create a um, a new visualization with the actuals, and I'm going to do that by order. And. Uh, going to use my revenue to Pareto percentage number. I am going to sort ascending these ones, descending of course. And a little trick, uh, if I now over here create a running calculation so 
here is my Pareto analysis. Yeah? So you can see that I can now simply over, say, well, over here I'm at 80% of the revenue. So these are the orders that cover 80% of the revenue. This is it. This is the trick to create a Pareto analysis in Lumina. Thank you for your attention.